Hi, I'm Emil Niazzi. Welcome to round two of So You Think You Know Wine semifinals. This is our game show edition, which means things are a bit more exciting. Okay, guys, I know you're in last place, oh. Reese, Janet, Tony, but you know what? It's not that big of a deal because you still have one we big shot. We still made the semifinals. Right? We, we, we like to think Everybody. we came fourth. I mean, everyone made we them. We came fourth, not last. I mean, we're not so the we're least. So, a bunch of press we're reading for you. <laughs> Bitters, Bill Treep, Zoltan. You guys are actually in first place. Yeah. Yes. Again, not to make Thanks anyone feel bad, no one should feel bad. We but feel really good. You guys do have a little bit of an edge, so why don't you guys pour and we'll get this started. Reese, you grow your own grapes? Yes. Do you feel like that gives you a bit of an advantage? Uh, no. <laughs> good answer. Apparently not, good to answer. The, apparently not in this series. Uh, no. I think we all taste pretty widely, so we all, you know, really trying wines from around the world all the time mm -hmm. and it, you know when you do that you really see how difficult it is because there's so many little things in wines that take you one way or another and it's fun though. Too much ice cream Reese. Too much ice cream? Are you going to buy me an <laughs> ice cream <laughs> afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> if only if you lose. Okay. It's okay. It's purple. Very purple. Mm. Don't Tough. spill this one on your white disco pants. No. Thanks brother. And Jen, it's a shame that no one can see your pants because they are They're very kind of awesome. Disco pants. Yes. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> shame to waste those. Now, don't get too confident, bitters. Okay, because you could blow it. We could blow it. We could blow it. Lush. Nice sort of reserved aromatics. Though. The secrets are coming out in this round. That's it. That's exactly where it is. A little bit of that eucalyptus green in the background. So maybe some Cabernet, but but it's kind of got that plush Napa Merlot mm -hmm. sort of or Cabernet. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's write down Merlot. Merlot. Yeah. Okay, guys, country, definitely new world. But we have to narrow it down a bit more. And this is going to be based on really dry tannins. Would Namaroon have that structure? But I do get the alcohol, right? You get the alcohol. You get like it's like this is hot. Like this is sort of min minimum fourteen and a half, right? Where else could it be from? It's quite dry, eh? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's Chilean. Or it doesn't have that feel. Not a It's not. It's not green enough. It's no. not. Not enough Boldo. U.S. kind of feels right. Couldn't be a French. It's warm, like, right? Yeah, it's too ripe yeah. for like, unless it's a really slutty pomerol or something like that. It's, it's not quite, for me, it's not quite <laughs> luscious enough for Napa. We've already figured it out. I'm just, that's what I'm trying to think of right now. <laughs> that's how confident you are? That's pretty good. Don't mistake that as confidence. That's just. It's uh, Mediterranean, all right. That's, it's Mediterranean, all right. Yeah. If it's not warm to hot climate, then it's partially One minute, dry guys. grapes. On the person. If it's not, you know. It's so which way are we going to go? Bitter, like you know, a lot of tannins, not very thin. Well, lots of alcohol. Mm -hmm. And the fruit doesn't. It's a bit, it is a rather elegant amaro too. I mean, it's not. If it is. Deep, really deep color, you know. Yeah. So I would. My thing is either it's Priorat or it's. <laughs> 
Southern Overmere period or whatever. And uh, it's Spanish, guys. Then if it's not it, Italy, then Spain. Yeah, just put thirty. Put Knights Valley in brackets behind there. Don't read it out. It'll be integrated. Yes. So Corvina based. Corvina Molinara on the Nella. Doesn't matter. This or Corvina. Yeah. Veneto. Okay, I think uh, vintage. Valpolicella yes. for the Appalachia. Okay. Appalachia is Valpolicella. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Ben? Ten. Um, <clears throat> I'm going between Van Halen Ten. and um, Ten. Ten. Aerosmith. 30 seconds, yeah. guys. It's, it's too older. deep the color. <laughs> <laughs> too deep the color for 10? Well, no, that for, for uh, you didn't even taste yours. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't oh, even I taste did. yours. I did. <laughs> so. We need help. Yep. Price? Okay. You guys are pretty fast. I think that's probably one of the, the faster rounds for you guys. So go ahead and let us know what you think. Well, um, I think it was pretty obvious that it was Merlot or okay. Merlot dominant. Uh, we're thinking that because of sort of the, the flavor and texture, it's the US, California. Mm -hmm. uh, we're thinking Sonoma. Because of the color, it's still a very bright purple. Uh, we're saying it's 2010. And for price, $30. Okay. You guys? I have a feeling totally, you're pretty totally, different. Totally, yeah, we're totally opposite. opposite. <laughs> <laughs> totally opposite. Um, Is it that we really blew it or we really got it? That's what makes it fun. Yeah. Right? So we went old world and we were battling back and forth between Spain and Italy. But we landed in Italy for this. We thought it was um, Amarone, uh, Corvina based in the Veneto, Valpolicella. Fairly youthful, 2010, and we're thinking around $35. Okay. Pretty wild. I mean, yeah, as much so fun as different. the close ones are, this, this is kind of more exciting. Unless this will not be close. No, <laughs> not be close. Someone is really but wrong. Then they don't use new oak in, uh, you know, Marpolicella. So. Okay, so apart. once again, we will take their scores for judging, and yeah, we will see what happens. I mean, this one could go to anyone, so make sure that you tune back and check it out. First place and fourth place battling to see who makes it to the finals. Both teams wildly different guesses. I noticed the ponytail's back, so let's see if it made a difference. So it is a petite Syrah from the Napa Valley. It is a Californian. It is American. It's $39.95. I told you guys that anything could happen. Can so Can you win backwards? <laughs> now that you've seen the bottle, what do you think? What do you think? They're bitters? <laughs> they're bitter. Yeah. I'm sure they're bitter about that. Well, Bill? Yeah, no, and that's crazy because I tasted that like three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't have had all that Campari, Bill. I know. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, Zoltan. Yes, uh, has, yeah. well, it Give makes it to me straight. It makes it for a decent Amarone, I mean, it's, you know, ripe <laughs> to overripe grapes here, if not maybe even slightly resinated on the vine, naturally, of course. Mm -hmm. what vintage but is I it tasted then? this wine. I mean, the grapes, we're not, we were not even close. It is a... 2010. <laughs> Let me look at my handy <laughs> sheet. It is a 2009. Yeah. 2009. But it's Syrah, which, uh, which has nothing to do with the Syrah or Shiraz. It's a different grape. I mean, we were all over the world. I yeah. mean... Uh, but not mm. there. I mean, neither <laughs> well, of you, you know, actually the, got the, no, the these wine. Are, these are very old vines in California made by right. a Frenchman, uh, by a very sort of uh, devout French winemaker. So you've got all these things happening in the, the making of the wine. Old vines, French winemaker in California. Uh, you can see how you could sort of yeah. divulge but, into many different areas about mm -hmm. the wine. I think, the I think one, that's... Yeah. And I think the one thing that we felt was it just had that plush texture yeah. of Napa or California, right? That, right. But obviously, yeah. Wow. Tough so one. give us a song. Uh, <laughs> back in the saddle. With <laughs> <laughs> that's all for now. Thanks no, for joining us. Either. I'm Emil Niazzi. Happy tasting. Everything's gonna be fine. Me, myself, and wine. Myself and wine